hey what is going on friends welcome back to another video if you're new to the channel my name is Ashley and I make new fish videos every single week so remember to smash the subscribe button and come join the family all right so I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of uh, fun I had with the intro just trying to improve my cinematic videography skills so I can improve my videos for you guys all right so tiger pups are my absolute favorite fish and uh yeah i think they're a little bit underrated in this hobby beginners tend to opt for neon tetras advanced hobbyists would overlook tiger pups as being for beginners and so maybe it's because you know they're like not the most popular yet they are cheap so they don't get prestige and yeah i think they're definitely overlooked and today i'm gonna convince you why they are the absolute best fish ever or at least why they are my favorite fish reason number one is their price so you can get them for like really cheap here in Singapore they are like less than half the price of what you could get a neon or rummy nose for and that works out really well because with this type of um, schooling or showing fish you want big numbers so with tiger bucks you will definitely uh, are able to afford a big school and because of the size of the fish itself you can get to about like two to three inches and pretty tall as well for ten dollars you can get enough fish that will fill up maybe a 50 to 60 gallon aquarium whereas if you spend that ten dollars on a neon tetra or rummy nose then you will be only filling up maybe a 10 15 at most 20 gallon aquarium and yeah so you can actually spend less on the fish and spend more on the aquarium itself make sure that you can get a big one and you can you can fill it up with nice um, driftwoods and plant and scape it really nicely second reason to get tiger bobs is that they are hardy AF so you pretty much can't kill a tiger bob with um, water parameters I think they thrive in just about any water and yeah this is not an excuse for you to like um, ignore your water and not do any maintenance but uh, if you contrast them to like the common neons and rummy noses what happens is a lot of times you know you say you spend that same ten dollars right so you'll get maybe ten neon tetras or ten rummy noses and by the time you bring them home and put them in your different water aquarium then uh, you'll be left with maybe eight it's quite common not always you, there are times we can get full survival rate and then if you happen to have a pH fluctuation or temperature change or ammonia spike and then you might be left with anywhere from five to none at all with tiger barbs uh, they're pretty much invincible when it comes to things like that if you spend ten dollars you can get maybe 30 tiger barbs and you're probably gonna keep that 30 tiger barb for a long time to come reason number three to get tiger bobs is their schooling behavior so tiger bobs are a shoaling fish in general so the difference between schooling and shoaling is that schooling is a lot more um, coordinated behavior so it will be a little more compact and then they would sort of uh, swim towards the same direction whereas tiger bob is a shoaling fish in general so shoaling fishes they sort of gather but they do not coordinate their actions as much but they definitely do have schooling behavior as well so in my experience um, schooling behavior usually comes out towards the night time when the surrounding of the aquarium is dark or at least i think that is why and maybe they feel a little more threatened they want to feel safer so they'll start to school a lot and when they school is very different from how you would see other schooling type fishes school um, usually other fishes you'll see them they'll be very compact and swim together like that and that's nice in itself right but uh, with tiger bobs it's something a little different it's almost like um, they're following the leader so they have their um, social hierarchy and the leader of the pack if you'll call it will swim and all the other tiger bobs will follow behind so it's almost like a single file that's just darting back and forth back and forth of the aquarium and they go around and in and out of your decorations and it's very nice to see them do that and it's something that is uh, very different from how we normally see other fishes school Right. the fourth reason for you to get tiger bobs is their size now they make their size is perfect because they, they pretty much do well in any environment right they can go in um, 20 gallon aquariums but it's not too 
overboard to try and fill up a 200 aquarium with a, a whole big school of tiger bobs and not only that but because they are this mid-range size so they have the benefits of both ends. If you compare that to a small schooling fish like our neons and rummy noses, um, the problem with those is that sometimes if you try and keep it with other uh, nice centerpiece fishes, they might get eaten, right? Because of how small they are. For example, I kept um, blood parrots before and I've kept them with both rummy noses and tiger bubs. So they were never aggressive to either of the fishes but the problem is that they see the rummy noses as food and one by one my rummy noses started to disappear but with tiger bobs you can keep them with a lot of uh, nice big centerpiece fishes and they will be too big especially when they're full grown a full grown tiger bob can be really quite big it's too much for a most uh, centerpiece fishes to eat and so you, they are able to give you that contrast effect that will look really nice and brings out the perspective of the size of the aquarium and size of the fish itself. So tiger bobs are that perfect middle ground. They don't get eaten but yet they show you the contrast in sizes. Right, reason number five to get tiger bobs is how aggressive they feed. And when it comes to that, I think there's really no other fish that can compare to the tiger bob. Not only do they attack fish like a hungry wolf pack but they are not shy to eat from the surface as well so because of their size and their daringness to go up to the surface and attack so if you feed floating foods whenever I feed freeze dried bloodworms that have float at the top they would shoot up and attack and that would look really nice so you imagine a whole school that just duck up and down because they don't just duck up but they duck back down the moment they uh, get hold of the food so you get this crazy you know um, like massacre they're just going up and down up and down up and down and then you will see the ripples and bubbles at the surface going that is something that you really don't get with uh, other schooling fishes if you talk about most of your tetras I believe most of them would sort of uh, attack food that is sinking down and even if they do go to the top because they are not that fast and not that big they don't create that that's water splash and you know all of that that a tiger bug can create for you alright so those are the five reasons to get a tiger bug i hope i have convinced you and uh yeah let's uh let's talk about the downside of keeping a tiger bug or what is said to be the downside so one they have a very bad reputation for being aggressive or what we will call nippy so i think nippy is a much better word they're definitely not aggressive fishes right if we talk about aggressive we are we are really referring to things like cichlids those are really aggressive behaviors that they look at other fishes and they want to kill the other fish that is aggressive behavior uh, with tiger bobs we sort of see this nippy behavior that is being you know they're said to be nippy what i've observed is more of like curiosity so they're just like they're very curious fishes and that said they're not as nippy as i people um, say they are i've kept them as small as a school as six and in fact they were less nippy at 6 than they are now at um, I think I have like 15 inside the only time you will see nipping is the occasional time during feeding and I mean really occasional that they would suddenly just you know if a fish is just not moving for example my pleco last time they might get a little curious and nip at it once just because they think it's food or if not the other time you would see them nip and this is slightly more common is when you put in a new fish into the tank and yeah they're just curious for what this new fish is maybe they think they're trying to test out if it's food so that is another time that you'll see they'll sort of follow the new fish around and nip at it a little bit but other than that in the aquarium they don't disturb other fishes as much now that said it could depend on what other fishes you keep inside like it's probably not a good idea to keep um tiger bub with fishes like uh, um, betas you know your fighting fish with long flowing Fins. those are probably gonna tempt them a little too much to nip but I've even kept them with a gourami inside and if anything it was the gourami that is aggressive towards them but in general both ways it is fine all right so to give you guys a little bit of update with what's going on with my tank um, in my previous video when I was filming it I actually had ick in a tank right so um, I was actually explaining and sharing about the ick problem but the video was just taking too long to reach the store tour and I didn't want to take too long so I decided to edit that out and uh, yeah 
Alright, so as you guys know from my previous video, which by the way, um, a lot of you guys absolutely love it. So uh, if you have not really check it out, then I'll put the card on the top right hand corner of the screen. And uh, yeah, if you are a flower horn lover, you're gonna absolutely love it. And if you are not a flower horn lover, then you're gonna be a flower horn lover. Alright, so in my previous video, um, I told you guys that I removed the blood parrots and gourami from my tank. And because of that, uh, my tank had a lot more space and I've always wanted to beef up my tiger bug and clown load school. So nowadays I could finally do that. I didn't get that many, uh, basically just two clown loaches and two tiger bugs. So I decided to go get them and because my quarantine tank is being used for these three fellas, um, I didn't want to risk, you know, an ammonia spike or, you know, just because of how small it is and the blood parrots are inside, I didn't want aggression to be an issue. So I decided not to quarantine the fishes. So I went to an aquarium that I thought I could trust and uh, I put the fish in directly without quarantining. So yeah, that was probably a bad idea and it didn't help that it has been raining the past few days or weeks. So my tank temperature has been dropping. So that is a prime condition for it to come. And it did come. Um, my new clown loaches and new tiger wubs got the egg, no one else. And so it was quite minor and I decided to treat at only half dose of medication. Now a few days later, Thanos had ache as well and no one else had ache even the clown loach and tiger bubs that originally had them the new ones they recovered and now it was only Thanos that had ache so um, it's probably because um, Thanos is a flower horn and flower horn check them out flower horns are said to have weaker immune systems because they are a hybrid um, Thanos had ache it was quite minor especially at the beginning just maybe like two to three white spots um, I continued treating at about half dose or maybe I went up to full dose I can't remember but with a mild medication and yeah um, it did not subside so in fact it got even worse it did start to develop even more spots and uh, it was still uh, isolated to only Thanos I tried a little bit of salt it didn't really help so I had no choice but to use a stronger medication and so actually at the worst point i won't say it was very bad but he did start to get a uh, quite a bit of um white spots and especially all around his nuko his, his nuko harm actually shrunk quite a bit so if you guys are not familiar when um flower horns are sick especially they their nuko harm would actually shrink so this could be from sickness or from stress but their nuko harms can ooh. over here danos oh yeah little boy so they are, they are getting distracted their nuko hum can actually shrink and yeah he's, he's shrunk quite a bit and I got a little bit worried because just about uh, the number of spots white spots on him and, and his nuko hum shrinking but at the same time um, I think not too worried because I know that ick is not something that is it's usually not fatal and a lot of people describe it like the sore throat of aquarium so basically um, it most people will experience it sooner or later and even if you experience you know sometimes it comes back around just because you're careless or complacent and that was probably my case um, I got a little complacent just because of how many times you know you don't see ick for so long you start to think that there's no ick out there but it is out there now that I have been on the stronger medication for about five days this is the fifth day um, basically there is almost no more visible ache now and if you ever have ache then just know that when um, just because they don't show signs anymore doesn't mean that the ache has been eradicated so this is a little um, I don't want to go into too much details of the life cycle and you know all of that but basically just because it doesn't just just because the, the white spots have disappeared doesn't mean that the ache is gone yet you still want to treat for a couple more days all right I hope I convince you guys about why tiger bubs are such awesome fishes uh, if you have never kept them before definitely do consider getting them I think you would not regret at all if you have kept them in the past maybe I uh, refresh your memory of how great they are and you feel like keeping them again and if you do keep them then let me know down in the comment section below or let everyone down in the comment section below know how great they are and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe 
turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I upload. And if not, I will see you in the next video. Bye out.